Everybody look up this way, please. Every Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, biggest things you've heard, every one of you has heard me talk about you know, four different groups before you do. I'm not going to repeat a bunch of those. I'd like you to be able to kind of mention some of the things that you may have thought of just before you play. And you think that that might have helped you have a better performance. Yes, please. Good posture. I'm looking up here and I'm counting how many people I can. I counted that around maybe about 85% of people who are really buying into the fact that the way that I sit gives me a greater opportunity to be able to play. The tough part is for us as music directors, again, we know how much of a difference it makes for your chance for success. For us not to bother you about it, and for you to continue to do it wrong, it's hard. It's hard, and we don't ever want to be considered negligent about doing that. And you've got great teachers here to be able to do it. So please, remember that. Make it a habit. How many of you have ever gotten into a car and the car starts to move and you don't have your seatbelt on? Oh, man, but this is, does it feel strange? Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's something I can't go anywhere after that seatbelt done before I move. So I wanted to, the reason I'm using that analogy is I want you to be able to think of, when you go to play your instrument, you can't play it seated back like this. You're standing from the waist up, so you get that beer going. The next thing I want you to think of in, in these pieces as you're going through, the last group we talked about balance a bunch, I can already hear a better balance trumpets to the low brass, okay? Did you feel like you held back just a little bit? No. no. Okay, there are some times, especially near the end, where it does get kind of yelly, or less easy moments, like, oh, so just be really careful of that. Um, I know the piece is about energy. How much time do I have left? Five minutes? Okay, good. So, I know the piece is about a lot of energy, but we have to remember, that we don't want to ever play unless it specifically is asked for to play blasty or just noisy at the end. You want to show power through making sure it's all followed and still stays centered as a goal. So, does anybody know what I mean by the centering the tone quality? Oh, I can have a beautiful pitch like this, but if I start to over my hand, it's really ugly, but it's still the same pitch, right? Or, or if I do that same fall, but I don't use enough air support because I'm not sitting properly, I'll get kind of like, da, 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 da. So tone, that tone quality that we're listening for, which I want you to be listening for, to be practicing for, is that you never want to be able to play stronger than your tone quality can allow you to. Meaning that if you start to blow and your tone quality starts to suffer, uh, don't go any stronger. Something you can practice to be able to go, but don't go any stronger. The main reason that it starts to go is our embouchures start weakening a little bit, or we just end up pushing too much air that we don't really need to be able to, uh, to be able to center that. So let's put this in practice. Who's going to go to the end of the piece, And be like measure 35. Down, you're not ready. 
Let's have a sample. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah. 